we're going to make an app that has one button and when you click that button it's going to change the background color so the first thing we need to do is go into design mode this is app lab on code.org so i guess i should show you that first uh, right here you can go under projects or you can come here to create uh, they'll both take you to the same place and you're looking for app lab all right so in design mode you want to grab a button you can resize it by grabbing the corner right here over here are all the settings for that button uh, we want to call this the change btn that's its id you'll need that in the code in just a moment and then this next one is just whatever the button's going to say we'll make it say change background now i resize the width and the height by grabbing the corner but you can also type in the size that you want it to be and you can rearrange it manually or you can type in the x and y position that you want it to have and then you can change the text color what goes good with red and you can change the font right here that doesn't look good but it looks good enough uh, you can also round the edges with the border radius okay we have everything we need so over here in the code you need an on event block and now we need to tell in the code we need to tell the app what to do and when to do it so remember that we named this id uh, right here we named it the change underscore btn uh, when the app is not running you can see those ids by just hovering over any element on the page so you can see there it says id change btn so we'll select that here whenever the change button is clicked we want to do something and what we want to do is set the background color so what we need here is a set property block i missed it twice there it is set property and we want to set the property of the screen itself which is called screen one you can see that right here and you can also see it by hovering over the screen we want to set the screen's background color to let's do red for now so now when we click this button it turns the background red it would be more interesting if you could change it to something else so let's hit this little down area and you see lots of options um, but i would rather it be random so what i'll do is i'll grab one of these rgbs and then uh, for each of these values it has to be between 0 and 255 so let's randomize that and i'm going to get rid of this so i can see it all so for this first for the red value let's go between 0 and 255 and let's reset it and so now we should get all kinds of shades of red every time we click all right now let's do the same thing for the next one scoop this over and we're going to put another random number in the green position of the rgb value again we'll go from 0 to 255 let's run it again so now we're getting some greens and some reds and then for this last one i want to do it a different way i'm just going to type in the random it's the same as dragging a block zero and 255 so when you click out if you've done that correctly it will turn into a block let's reset and now we should have uh, all random colors <laughs>